This is the new gimbal. I think, well, I think it's called the gimbal assembly. Uh, let me just take these repeatable UM cables off. Okay. So, in here I have eight, uh, I think 1865 or whatever, those regular cylindrical lithium ion batteries, 3.6 volts at uh, 2.2 amps. And they're all in parallel, so there's eight of them in parallel. And they all go to these two wires. These are unprotected wires. So, it all goes into here. This is just regular like ABS plastic that was um that I recycled kind of thing from uh, this laptop backing, the LCD back, which is really good. It's lightweight and it's fairly durable but easy to mill. And I just cut it out with like using a razor blade and scoring it or a an exacto knife in my case. That's kind of fucked up, but that's okay. Um, so I have two servos. This one. Uh, they're both SG90 servos. This one is modified for continuous rotation. And I have included an external potentiometer so that I can trim it to um, adjust for like the slight uh, weirdness in my phone's accelerometer. This one is just set regular and it's in the center pivot. I used the edge of like one of those old tape deck things like the, the cases for the tape to make the center pivot and I just have a nut and bolt type thing that lets it pivot on the axis and then this is the board currently I have it on a pref board like there's some other parts right here that I have uh, made like I actually etched the board out this one is the high current uh, voltage boost this one right here is the low current for the 5 volts for the Arduino and all the sensors that I might put. This one right here, the third board at the top, is the charge controller. And then this one right here is the protection board that I made. Uh, currently it's using some... They're supposed to be like 40 amp MOSFETs, but right now it shuts off if I go over like eh, 5 amps, which is fine. This button right here is a reset switch. So it just all it does is short the connections between the uh, the battery's negative and then the output negative of the protected part so that it just turns the circuit back on. Then here's the terminal blocks. These two right here are for the battery and then these two are an output. So they'll output uh, through a pin. So there's this third MOSFET down here that if it gets activated it'll output something. So like say if I wanted to drive a high power LED I I can do it. Um, right here I have some connectors for possibly RGB LEDs and then I have a single MOSFET to control it. Since I already used two of the PWMs and I'm using the servo library like 9 and 10 which I just learned cannot be used uh, so I'm gonna have to make some kind of a multiplexing circuit with regular tra with uh, using four transistors and using the regular digital pins and one PWM. And then, so right here you got your regular reset switch. I have a little, either switch these headers right here to either recharge the battery, so in program or use, so it outputs five volts on the rail. And then I have the Bluetooth thing that's removable for when I need to program it. And that's it so far. This thing is pretty cool. I just finished it today, and yeah.